Hey, thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. I'm gonna tell you about some of the awesome books that I read this past week and the books that I'm really excited to read this week. If you want more videos about books, about teaching, about reading, about writing, click that subscribe button down below. If you click the bell, then you'll get an email uh, letting you know when I post a new video. All right, let's get started. The first book I'm going to tell you about is Road Trip with Max and his mom. It is written by Linda Urban. It is illustrated by Katie Kath. An amazing middle grade novel. Uh, I think kids are going to love it. Obviously, the, the easy comparison is the year of Billy Miller. Kevin Henke's and Linda Urban just get characters, and they have a way of taking quiet, powerful, amazing children and giving them a voice. And this book is amazing. It is distinguished. It is beautiful. It is important. Uh, I love how Linda Urban just captures Max and what's going on in his head and how he's trying to deal with his parents being divorced. In the first book in the series, Weekends with Max and his dad, each part of the book uh, is centered around a different weekend that Max is spending with his dad, just dealing with his parents now being divorced and all that comes with that. And in this book, Max's mother decides to take him on a road trip and Max is a little worried because, you know, he's gonna he's used to going to his dad's on the weekends and he's worried about what his dad would think. I just think she does an Linda Urban does an amazing job of capturing uh, what a kid would be going through and some of the things that they might be thinking in a situation like this. One of my favorite scenes comes towards the end, um, when Max kind of sees like a family tree and he sees his mom's last name and he's just wondering, like, oh, is my mom going to continue to have the same last name as me, or is she going to change it back to her maiden name, or maybe she'll get remarried, and, and, and I think that just that moment where Max kind of starts to think about that for the first time, it's just, it might seem like a small moment, but it's such a big moment for Max, and I love how Linda captures that, and I just, I just, it felt so true and so real, and this is a really good book. The second book that I want to tell you about today is Between the Lines. It is a picture book biography of NFL player and artist Ernie Barnes. It is written by Sandra Neal Wallace, who used to work for ESPN. Let's get right to it. And it's illustrated by four-time Caldecott Honor winning author Brian Collier. It is, a, is just gorgeous. Let me just show you just a little bit. Let me just look at this. One of the things that I love so much about this is how Ernie didn't want to be a football player. Like, he grew up in North Carolina, he loved art, he wanted to be an artist, that's all he wanted to do. He had no desire to be a football player, and then he grows into this six foot three man, and the high school coach is like, you need to play football. He's like, no, no, I'm good, I'm not gonna play football. And then the high school football coach shows up at his house and talks to his mom, and then eventually he decides to play football, and it allows him to to be able to go to college, and then he's able to get into the NFL. And, and through all of this, his dream never changes. He continues to want to be an artist and watching him find a way, find a path to living his dream is, is amazing. Because so often when the kids see a book about a football player, they're gonna think, oh, he was able to live his dream because he got to be a football player. And no, actually, he was able to live his dream through football. He found an avenue to do that. I love this book. I cannot wait. I'm going to wait to read it to kids until the actual final book comes out. Uh, the F and G just doesn't. It just, I just, it's just going to be a beautiful read aloud, and I can't wait to read it to kids. And I, I just, I have so many kids who love football. I have so many kids who love art, and I have a whole classroom filled with kids who need to see that there are different ways to follow their dreams. The next book that I want to tell you about that I read last week is. A House That Once Was. It's by Julie Fogliano, and the pictures are by Lane Smith. It comes out May 1st, 2018. This book is gorgeous. This book is written beautifully. The concept of it, like finding a house abandoned in the woods and thinking about like who used to live there and the stories that they used to have, and, and it's, it's just magical. And it makes me just look at buildings differently. It makes me look at my house differently. I love it. It makes me think of Deborah Friedman's This House Once, which is as beautiful as a picture book as I have seen in ages. This book is really good. You're going to love it. I'll show you just a little taste. I'll just. I mean, come on, Julie, Lane, it's a winner. Those are the 
wonderful books that I read last week. This week I am reading The Poet X by Elizabeth Acevedo, and it's amazing. Uh, Phil Bilder recommended this book to me. I read absolutely zero young adult books that are not recommended to me by someone that I have a lot of trust and respect for. Phil's a great guy. This is actually one of his former students. How crazy is that? And Phil, I saw that there's a Mr. Bilder as a character in this book. Pretty cool. Uh, but the book is just absolutely beautiful. It is told in verse. This character is one you're, that is just going to jump into your heart from the very first page. And it's just absolutely gorgeous. I'm just totally captivated by the story. I think I'm about a third of the way through. I, I don't know if I'm allowed to read a poem out of a book like this, so I'm not going to. But when you read this book and you get to page 52, if it's still 52 in the final copy, the book comes out in March of 2018, there is a poem called After. And it is, you just have to read it. I've read it like seven or eight times already. I read it right before I started shooting this video. And it's, this book is just really good. You need to read this book. If you read young, even if you don't read young adult books, maybe this could be one that you read in 2018 because it's amazing. Thank you so much for watching this video. It means the world to me. I would love to know what you're reading. Let me know. Leave me a comment. What books have you read in the last week that were amazing? What book are you going to read now? Some of us, if you're educators, you're getting ready for a great couple of weeks of reading during winter break. I want to know what books are you reading? Thank you so much for watching. It means the world to me. Have an awesome day and happy, happy reading.